relationship is best with someone whom you trust right from day one. Someone who understands you. Someone who can compromise. Someone who can respect you. Someone who gives you time to yourself, to your friends. Hmm. But at times, it's kind of difficult, you know. So I try as much as I can not to get frustrated with things I cannot change in my relationship. Instead, I focus on the things I love about that person. Hello, welcome to another video with me. I am Tonya and you are welcome to Ami Tonya's channel. And so, our today's topic is the most valuable lesson I have learned about relationship. Okay, I don't know about you, <laughs> my man is very respectful, he is genuine, lovely, and kind, but like we all know, nobody is perfect, <laughs> he has his own faults, just like I have my own. There are times you keep correcting, 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 correcting. At times you get frustrated. There are some things we all know that men find very difficult. Some men, not all of them. Let me take an example like mine. My man, whenever he wants to, he can just come back from work and he take his clothes off. And he put it in the sitting room. <laughs> I've had a friend of mine telling me that her husband, when he comes back, he pulls his shoes and he puts them under the bed. <laughs> and it's not like that there is no shoe scarf. There is. But he finds it difficult to put them there. These are some of the habits. And so, to be honest with you, when I nearly got married and I came over here, it was difficult. We had quarried, aggravated. He can be angry that I get so picky. But... I was finding it difficult to accept his imperfections, you know. It's not like his imperfections. I was finding it difficult to accept him for who he really is. That was the growing of our marriage. The growing of the relationship. You know, I kept talking and talking, correcting all the time. And he kept promising to change. <laughs> but it's not his fault. He fought to change. At a time, I got to realize I don't have to be frustrated, you know, for things I know I cannot change. You don't force people to change. It is a gradual process. So in relationships, it could be very difficult supporting one's habits, accepting that person's faults. It could be very, very difficult. But I have learned not to get frustrated with things I cannot change. Instead, I focus my attention on the things that made me love him. You know? And so, 
I have accepted and he has also accepted. It's not like I am flawless. It's not like I don't have my own thoughts. I do, of course. I'm a human being. You know? So, but me realizing that I just can't keep being frustrated for things I cannot change. And I focus my attention on the things I love about him. And frankly speaking, that has been revolutionary in our relationships. It is calm. There are some things you just cannot change. Don't be worried for what you cannot handle. That is just it. Focus on the good aspects of that person. And then gradually keep on walking. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. It may not be a hundred percent change, but at least there will be something. But done in a cool and manner way, you know. So there are some times when we'll just be alone, maybe in the sitting room with a glass of wine, and he will hold my hands and he will say, there, after all these years, I'm still glad, fortunate, very happy that I married you. And I will look at him I will say, well, convenient, I am also glad I am with you. So that is it. That is it. That's what keep it going. That is what keep it going and not fighting all the time. And that is it. You will build love when you focus on what created that love. So guys, that is it. I want to make this video so short, but just keep in mind that you will build love when you focus on what creates that love instead of focusing on what destroys it. And you will see things turning around. So thank you so much for joining me on another video once more again. I'm so, so grateful. It was fun filming this short video for you. I hope there is someone out there who can learn, who can pick one or two from my little story and experience. Thank you so much. If this is the first time you are seeing this face, I am Tonya. And you are in Amitonia's channel. Please don't forget to like, to comment, to share. If this is the first time, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you will be notified. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye bye.